a fake. It's just a trick. Do not be envious of thy neighbor's gatherings. It is not the ball you want. Believe in yourself and you will receive all the riches you need. Unbelievable. It's like having the world's biggest store right on your desk. I mean, you can shop for anything at any time. It's like this gigantic mall. I'm telling you, you've got to try it. It's like you can even take your own photo and put it into the computer and then try on clothes. <laughs> I swear to God, it's amazing. Well, no, I'm not exactly sure how it works, but you should see how cool stuff looks on me. Particularly the pastels. Except for cucumber. <laughs> totally sucks. Makes me look like I have malaria or something. <laughs> yeah, I have to get that. Gotta go. I'm all ears. I'm here to see Professor Sidney Fox. She's in class. I see. You a new student? No, no, I'm actually... Well, I'm her new teaching assistant. Uh-huh. After such a secluded education in Cambridge, you can imagine how nervous I was to learn a position in America. Silly to you, I'm sure. Obviously, once I got here, I was quite put at ease. Is there anything I should know? demonstration was so wonderfully unusual. Was it the um, Maori or the uh, <clears throat> San, uh, San Blas Indians? Oh, it was actually a composite of several tribal cultures that embody similar methods of killing. The most important thing at the beginning of the term is to get the students excited about history and hungry for more. Well, right. Otherwise, history just becomes an exercise in memorizing things from books. Blaine wants to see you. Said he'd meet you on the quad. On my way. Uh, that would be you following her now. Blaine is? Curator of the museum. Lots of laughs. Robert? Sydney. This is my new teaching assistant, Nigel Bailey. What's this about? They're from a village in Nepal. They're positive that you can help them find the Buddha's bowl. The arms bowl that Siddhartha threw away. Mm hmm. They claim to know where it is. Travel 10,000 miles just to see you. We'll talk to nobody else. I'll take my leave now. Is the. 
anything I should know. We have discovered an ancient map. We now know the exact location of the bowl, 150 years ago. The people of Kushnagar, where we are from, the place where Buddha died, are building a monument. We want to put Buddha's bowl in a place of honor as a testament to his teachings. Oh, I really would like to help you. But... The people of the village have collected these. Why did Buddha throw it away in the first place? It became more trouble than it was worth. It was believed to have never run out of coins. Every time it was empty, it filled up again. I don't understand the problem. Do you mean to say that you're actually going to? I mean, now, traveling for the purpose of... Looks like Lumbini? She is. Lumbini Gardens, Nepal. Really? Some sort of fish? Golden koi? And so are you. Chan, look at this. I happen to know, Chan, and pardon me for saying this, but you're in deep doo-doo. I mean, you've taken this trading company that's been in your family for... for generations and managed to single-handedly because of your lust for fancy cars and expensive women, or is it fancy women and expensive cars, and managed to sink it into oblivion. That's not true. Oh, really? Come off it, Chan. It's nearly beyond life support. Now, I know it and you know it. The only person who doesn't know it yet is your father. And thank God, because it would really break his heart. I'll get it back. Uh -huh. You and how many gone -ifs? I, on the other hand, know a way for you to bring it back from the dead. Get it back in a big way. Not interested. All right. Suit yourself, Jenny. Hello. Yes, Father. Expecting. Not exactly. I, I just thought when I checked yes for travel on the job application form that more or less meant the occasional lecture in Boston or something. Not that I'm not intrigued by being here. I mean, the end of the world. But on my first day. <laughs> and then I met your assistant. Uh, Claudia. Well, she certainly didn't let on that be anything more than that. I mean, she doesn't share your love of history unless it could be bought. It is unfortunate. Her father's a friend of the college, that's why she's there. Her love of history begins and ends with Marilyn. Monroe? Manson. What a lovely girl, I, I, I'm sure. You're gonna like the hunt, Nigel. I can tell. Once we get to Lumbini, finding the gardens shouldn't be difficult. Lumbini Gardens? It, it sounds peaceful, doesn't it? in here somewhere. You poke around in here. I'll see what's downstairs. Right.
McCoy. Coy, don't you? What? You mean this little old thing? <laughs> you don't think I just came down here for my health, do you? I mean, this isn't exactly Bermuda, is it? How did you get here? Well, these three weirdos, villagers from Kushnagar, came by, and they showed me this little map. Then they tried to hire me with about 20 bucks worth of worthless tokens. Can you imagine? Hey, hey, no. Give it up! Let go! Jail! Shitra! Shitra! Imagine what jail's like around here? Do we want the line too? And there goes the coin. And my woman. My lady police life on Kalasaka. I'm not talking about Kurasanepati. Only I wish I bun chan. You're better by home. What's he saying? We're screwed. What's the matter? You're going to be all right. Water, please. Water. Well, one of you get us some water. Can't you see how upset she is? It's going to be all right. Well, I'll get it myself. Next up, once we had the coil, it would have been Bodgaya. I'm sure that's where he's going. Why does he call you sweet cheeks? It's not important. Michael, I just thought you should know there's been increasing interest in the company. Really? That's Good news, Father. I trust the profit and loss statements are up to date? Uh, absolutely. Good. I'd like you to prepare the entire financial package for me. Right away. Michael! Don't worry, I got the cola! I don't understand. 
a long story. You're gonna have to trust me. But the coin is the key. The coin is the key. Yes, sir. Give me a ticket to Bodhagaya. Let's get on the train. Get out of these things. When we get to Bodhagaya, we'll find a nice hotel, have a bath, and a glass of whatever they call wine. the tree bark, it seems to me that the koi was just one of many. Really? Yes, there were several. Which would mean? One is not enough. It's all part of a mosaic. But Stewie has the koi. Yes, and he knows we know he's got the koi. I know he knows we know. And he knows I know he knows. I'm not sure I'm following this. The point is we have to be on guard. Operate on the basis that he can be anywhere. That's why I think you're the best, sweet cheeks. Yeah! <laughs> Kimasabis. Perhaps you can help me. Do any of you know what this means? What it's used for? This koi. Yes. Supposed to be from this area. Many of them. Does it ring a bell? We should forget about it. Oh, yeah? And why is that? It is best you not know, but you should forget you saw it. Now look, if it's money you guys want, uh, <laughs> I'm fresh out of beads, you know? Wait a minute. Hey, what about this? It's very expensive. Very expensive. Look, multi-time zones. Yeah. yeah. You can keep that, Kimosabis. All you got to do is tell me about this koi. It's the key. All right. Which one of you is going to step up and part with the goods, huh? I will. Like you said, the koi is the key. Water. The fountain holds the answer. Water. Yes. Excuse me, but the watch, you see, is actually mine, and it was stolen in Umbini. Fountain holds the answer. Right. It's not even a fish pond here. Well, it can't be this fountain. Why not? Well, this fountain is relatively new. The one we're looking for had to have been built well over 200 years ago. Right. it has got to be another fountain. That's better. Seven koi? It would never be. What do you mean? An odd number. Completely unlucky. Just would never be.
Now what? I have no idea. 